Okay, I've got two patients in this week who both have hip osteoarthritis, so hip OA, and they both have problems with their range. Not necessarily pain, it is painful because they've lost range, but not painful because it's a very old arthritic joint, it's a very young joint, they're both around sort of 40, 35, and the problem they're getting is a severe tightness and loss of range. They're trying to do exercise during sport and they've lost the range. Now some of that range is a loss of actual joint structure. So they're losing the cartilage and their, their actual joint is not as good as before. But a lot of that is also the soft tissue tightening around it. And that's what we're trying to work on in the clinic and that's what they're getting for homework. Now I'm gonna show you the one I'm doing for them for a deduction, which is a really hard one to get. So think of like, the, in the internal rotation, they've lost that. All right, they can't get internal rotation. The external rotation's not too bad, it's a lot easier one to work on, but they've lost their A deduction. So the ability to go across the midline is not there. When I assess them, when they go up in this position, they cannot get past like midline position. So normally you can come across into A deduction, which is really important. They can't even do that. And because they can't do that, they really struggle with the internal rotation as well. It's a lot easier to get external rotation in the hip if you've lost it, but internal, geez, that's hard. So they need a lot of exercises and specific things to help the joint movement. And we're getting some range out of them. So we're not fixing the OA, we're just working on the soft tissue tightness around the joint that's developed because of the OA. And if they can work on that, at least they get half of their problem solved while they're trying to you know, just deal with this in daily life. They don't need a hip replacement just yet. They are just trying to get exercising and keeping reasonably pain free. So what I give them is power band. Now, this power band needs to be a really thick one. So blue one, you could probably go up to a black one, which is even thicker. It needs to be one thing. It needs to be thick enough so it doesn't bite in when it's around the groin but also strong enough to give some traction, okay? So you sort of need it this length. And this replicates what I'm doing in the clinic with a seatbelt, so they can do this at home. Now, if you're doing this at home, you need it around a pole, something, maybe a dining room table leg, not gonna move, okay? So something that's really sturdy. Now, to remember where to put this, if it's, say, your right hip, okay, it's going to the right. So if you can just remember that, whatever side you've got, it's going to the right. And then what it's gonna do is give you a lateral traction. So if I'm doing my right hip, this one goes in my right side, right up to the top of the femur, okay, as far up as you possibly can. Now you need a bench or sofa or something that's again sturdy that you're gonna then put this knee on, okay? So it needs to be far enough away that when you put your knee on there, there's quite a lot of drag from that. And if the drag is directly out so lateral, you can even go a little bit posterior lateral if you like. And you're trying to get the point where you get that knee on. It's quite hard to get that on the knee on. Once you've got that, then you can stay there. Now, at this point, if you can see, I am in a B-duction, okay? And which is, you know, they can handle that, that's fine. What they can't handle is the A-deduction. So what the band's gonna do, we're gonna sort of gonna do it in reverse. We're gonna do a deduction by moving the hip to the right that way. Okay, now of course, that's quite a lot of A deduction for someone who's got hip away. So they're gonna probably go from about here, hold onto the bed, and slowly let the band take them. Okay, so whatever they can manage, they're trying to relax all the tissues in the hip, so you're just letting the band take you over to the right. So my pelvis is getting dragged to the right. Because my knee is locked in the bed, it's forcing me into hip adduction if you like. So the band also gives you a bit of traction in the joint, a bit of soft tissue slack take up, and that also helps with the joint movement. So if I'm going from here slowly across, I'm hopefully going to get eventually past the midline and stretching it out, which I couldn't do without the band. And it's very hard to do that by pulling your knee over because there's so much resistance. I've got a band now pulling me over so I can relax. I don't have to do any effort, just let it go. And I'd probably go over there until I can try that for maybe sort of five, 10 seconds if I've got hip OA, then bring it back. There's your relief, that's sort of your break between the wrap, and then you slowly go over. It's not a fast repetition one, and it's certainly not a strengthening exercise. This is a relaxation, a joint distraction mobility exercise. So you've got to go slow, you've got to spend some time on it, but hey, it's well worth it. Now what that's gonna do is give them a bit more range into adduction, which will help them, them with their internal rotation. So if that was my right leg, that's gonna help me 
then get across that way a little bit more, a little bit more movement there. If I can do that, then I'm more likely to get internal rotation as well. So then when they're doing their internal rotation ones, which is pretty similar stuff, they then go on the floor, band around, and go through these. And these, I've shown you these ones before, but this is where they can have the band there, and then try and pull their leg into rotation. So there's your sort of like fader, if you like. Flexion, adduction, internal rotation. So there's my flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. Can you see how like to get them my internal rotation, I really need to have my adduction, okay, and I really need to have my flexion. So th the other thing they're working on, like that one, is working on getting their flexion right. So they go into here and get into working on their flexion. And you've seen those ones before. So if you combine all those three, that's basically replicating what I do in the clinic and that helps them throughout the week. Hopefully it gets a little bit more range in their hip, which drops down the tension, the tightness, drops down their pain, increases their function. Hope that helps. See you next time.